Whenever you're ready. Right. Welcome to a special episode of the Doe and Deuce podcast. I'm Doe. I'm Deuce. And this is a special episode uh, recap of the season of Snowfall. Season one Snowfall. Season one Snowfall. All right, uh, we, of course we didn't do episode by episode. We're right. going to go a nice recap. Right, because like, so the thing is about Snowfall, a lot of people wasn't really on this show. Right. I've been watching it from the jump. Mm-hmm. It's on FX, so it wasn't getting a pub like it deserved. Right. John Singleton was the um, producer yes. of the show. Right. It is a really good show. It um it signed on for another season, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like It was like between that and Power were the yeah. best shows this summer. Right. And, and, and keep it 100, it was going, for me, it went toe-to-toe with Power. Yeah. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? Straight Content-wise, up. Content-wise, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, power is like the flashy car. Right. You know, uh, if you talk about substance and stuff like that, right. um, angles, because you know, you know, difference in those shows is, I think power is like a one scripted, like, all right, this is this guy's life, and these people affecting this guy's life. Right. Um, power, um, snowfall is basically a different lives being affected by one thing. Right. 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 So, right, right. you know, you get a little storyline here. Right. You got a lot of different storylines. Right. Not based off one character. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So show is based off in nineteen eighty three um Los Angeles, California. Right, right. All right, um people say it's a uh basically a story of basically Rick Ross. Oh Rick Ross. Oh, Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross. Right. Um and so it's played by Franklin Saint. All right. right. He's a smart young you know, African American kid from the hood. Basically. Went to the good school. Went to the good schools. His mother made sure she worked hard. Right. His father was a um, Black Panther, but right. you know, it turned into a. Uh, Started using drugs. drugs and stuff like that. And his mother, she's a hardworking young, uh, mm-hmm. hardworking lady. Right. Uh, does uh, helps with uh, she works for a, a, a landlord. Right. You know right. Saying? Scumbag. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Scumlord. You know what I'm saying? So you know she does that. You know right. what I'm saying? So he's. Like I say, he's in, in the hills sometimes. Right. He hang with his um, right. white friends, right, and then right, comes right. down and hangs in, in, in the hood. hood. In the hood, um, basically, he you know he works you know at a store. Right. You know, does what he does. Sell a little weed on the side for uncle. Weed, um, for his uncle, you know, Uncle Jerome, Jerome, <laughs> Jerome, Jerome right? and house. And, and, you know, and so basically, the, um, his his life is you know. Thanks, you know, and then you know he didn't finish school because I think he dropped out of oh, right. school. So you know everybody, like, why you do school? You know, some school's not for everybody. Right, right. So him, the way his basis his premise of it is, is he goes out and you know he just things. I, I say, well, I, you know, a lot of opportunity just came his way. We're not even looking for it. Right, you know what right. I'm saying so he gets curious. And so right, he went with his man. He went to go get some blow. Gets get get the blow. With the himself. blow, and he realized like it was like this. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you know. The, he ran to the um the um. The D. Drexel. The Drexel. It's the Israel guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and so when he runs it to him, he's <laughs> like, oh, what's, you know, what's, what's the product and stuff like that? Right. Like, you know, it's, it's cocaine, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he's like, you know, I'll give you two keys. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, first, he sees how crazy this guy is. Right. character. I like this character. I like the um, Israel character. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, he's wild, eccentric, crazy, you know what I'm right. saying? So, um, I, it's just like, hey, anything go down at any time. Right. And you see that you can trust um, Franklin. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because Franklin mm-hmm. is like, hey, look, I'll earn my trust with you. I don't expect you to give me anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know my word my bond. I'm not scared. To, you know, you know, I'm not scared of you. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right, right. His wife and his wife, I don't want to go here. You right. know what I'm saying? But he's like, hey, look, I'll, I'll do what I got to do to earn your respect. Because, you know, where he's from, the way you earn your respect is by, you know, not being scared. Right, right, like right, 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 right. So right, he's right, like, right. Well, you know, what you going to do to me, you know what I'm saying? So that you know, he, he you know puts the vest on. He thought he's gonna shoot him. Stuff right, like right. That's that's me. Yeah, right, like okay, yeah, you good. He's a good guy. And then like say he takes his um his guy to the hospital. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, so, I forgot about. Yeah. See, I forgot about that joint in the last episode. I forgot that he's like like he saved his life. Like, I forgot how he saved his life. But yeah, then, he took him to the hospital when right. he we shot him. <laughs> right, right. So you know he, he so he knows Frank was a good you know kid. Right. And he knows that you know. Trust, but he knows he could deal with them. So. Right, he gave, he gave yeah. him that word, man. Yeah. Like, you got to bring me back without price the price. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring me that back. He brought that money back. He brought it back. And, and, and remember when from Franklin not even making excuses. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, look, nobody want to hear. I got robbed. I got right. He's green to the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's big on, you know, doesn't understand. Start making money. People start watching you right, and stuff right. like that. And then his, his aunt was like, yo. Right, right from the first, Franklin got the word and went to his uncle. Yeah. His uncle was like, yo, no, you don't want no parts of that. That's Trust the, me. Yeah, that's the blow game. You, know? you don't want no parts of that. And so his aunt was like, oh, oh I know he I got somebody that can do it. I know. Because uncle was like, like, they don't use that in the hood. They, right. they can't afford it. That. Right, that's, that's, the, that's the rich people drive. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, well, I know, she's like, I know you can get this all for it. Right. Went to Claudia, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Claudia she was she went bone. You know so I guess yeah, and I guess Claudia Claudia and um, the aunt sister yeah, I yeah. said you have it on there. Um, Don Louise. Louise. Yeah, yeah. They must have had they must have had something back in the day. Yeah, or something. yeah I think mm-hmm. she worked for us something like that. And, right, right. You know, probably you know. I don't know how that goes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants more yeah, than action. Yeah, she wants more than action. <laughs> Later in the season. <laughs> so and um so when you know she introduces it to us and and Franklin for you know like hey look. You know, people's got some work for you, and the price is the price. Right. And, you know, so you know, so you're flipping it just like that. Hey, you can have the whole thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, all right, bet. You know, so he, he moved the product that fast, but then you know, like all things, you know, people start watching. Right. You know, and Ray, 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 Ray and Lenny. Lenny came saying, in there like, the chick yeah. was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? As you know, and meet my man outside. <laughs> You know, beat him up, stuff like that. You know, it's probably they didn't kill him. But they about to shoot him, man. Yeah, they about to shoot him. He's like, don't waste your bullets on him. You know, it's one of those things because, you know, of course, you're not going to kill the storyline, killing Franklin in the first episode or right. second episode. But it's like every day, the everyday struggle in the cities, you're saying that stuff, type of stuff goes down. Right. And when do you know someone from getting, this, you know, not earning their way in the drug game? You know, first right. you corner a guy, right. and you do this, you. He just went straight to the top, right. or straight to the top of the hood charts. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nobody's seeing it, like, we get all this money. Straight out of high school to the NBA pros. Yeah. So, you know, he couldn't go back and tell, you know, the Israel guy, hey, you know, I don't have your money. Right. You know, he's like, yo, you got to get my money. I don't care. You know, I don't care. I'm right. no shortages. So he had to do what he had to do to get right. the money back. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he, then he had to find out who robbed him. Who was he? He said, we Claudia. Claudia, Claudia was like, look, these are the people who robbed you. You know, right. you just part of the game. I ain't set you up. Right. But I, I ain't got nothing to do with this. So, you know, he tells his boy, you know what I'm saying? Um, what do you tell? He tells Leon. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, Leon, hey, you know, we need to go rap. You know, I, need, I need help. I need help. Leon's like, all right. I got somebody to play. Give my man Carvel. <laughs> <laughs> and Carvel plays in... Um, um, he's the vice principal. Yeah, vice principal. The, the, the cafeteria man. The cafeteria man, man. That's the, the spectrum of spectrum. Right. The cafeteria thug, girl. Thug, the cafeteria yeah. did straight thug. Yeah, straight thug. <laughs> and say, so they go to uh, Lenny house, you know what I'm saying? Busting the door, right. you know what I'm saying? It's kicking the door, you know? And then it's like Lenny and say, coming. Right. You know, Carvel's run up in there, asking, and then that's what Franklin understands, like, this is the extreme we have to be in this game. Right. There's no, well, we're just going to let this, you know, let's give my money. Right. And then he don't want to tell Carvel how much money it is. Right, right, right. Because, you know, we ain't talking about a hundred, two, a thousand. We're talking stacks. stacks right, you right, know? right, right. Back in 83, that's you know, a lot of money. Right. So, you know, finally, you know, Carvel's like, look, you understand, you're asking him, you're beating him up. I'm going to take him to this room. Right. And then he's like, man, he's killing them. He's like, you know, Lenny, oh, he's killing him. Mm-hmm. You know? He's like, no, nah, he ain't killing him. <laughs> he's raping him. Rape that yeah, man. Yeah, rape that man. You know what I'm saying? Poor Lenny's done. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And then um, finally told him where the bread is at. Right. When he got the bread, Carvel said, oh, this is all mine. Right. He, then, when he did that, like, I had a feeling he was going to take the money regardless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, look, like, I did the work, it's my money. Yeah, like, 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 would you going to take it from me? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Carvel says, a lick, I'm, it's all mine. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why he wanted the money first. He wanted to get the money then. Break him off. Cause mm-hmm. one thing about Frank, let's say what you want. He's a he's a, a shrewd businessman. Right. You know what I'm saying he's not into giving anything. Right. Uh, paying top dollar for anything. He feel like he takes the chances. His connects. His everything. Right. He doesn't want to just give out the give out the money. Right. You know what I'm saying so it's one of those things where people don't stand like you gotta you know you gotta see where the character's going. Right. All right. So then you know after you know Car- Carvel takes the money, he has to understand like I gotta get this money back. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so. Him and you know, Leon say, yo, we gotta do what we gotta do. Right. You know, they they run up on Carvel, Carvel drunk. <laughs> he drunk. Put him in a trunk, take him out of the desert, you know, make a long story short, they had to kill Carvel. I finally killed that man. Killed him, you know what I'm saying? So, it was one of the things that... Man, Carvel, you wanna put a car and everything. Yeah, yeah, Carvel was spending the money mm-hmm. and all that. So, you know, he paid, well, he paid a man back. So, right. he called her in the motorcycle and said, hey, I'll pay you back. And right. he stopped the I'm game. I'm done out the game. You know, that was like, that like, when we on that first half, I'm like... Hey, he out the game, like, I mean, it, it, something gonna switch, it, it, they gonna, it, 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 he can't be out the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then, um, you know, other specters of the show, you have uh, Teddy, the uh, CIA agent, right. and uh, Alejandro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Alejandro was with uh, the other CIA agent, Logan Miller. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning of the scenes, you see that, you know, they partying up in Logan's house. Right. You know, he sell, they sell drugs to the cartels. Right, you know right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, 
they doing what they do, you know what I'm saying? They use the money to, to supply the U.S. government, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Whatever. No, U.S. government supply gives them the cartel's money to, you know... They put them wars, the wars and they, like they, they give them the drugs. The drugs back. So it's funny because, you know, you know, Logan, he dies right then and there. Right. So the girl, you know, the girl they party with, they want to call right. the uh, police and all right. that. You're like, nah. Nah, you can't do that, baby. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh -huh, no, he's the one. He's a he's a killer. You know what right. I'm saying? He does what he got to do to they keep kill all the girls. Kill, killed all the girls. You know what I'm saying? Can't mm -hmm. let nobody leave there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, Teddy, he he Come through. he's the new you know CIA agent that you know he realized what they're doing. Right. So he wants he missed the action. He's right. Like, he's the one of the guys that he needs the action. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he's really the top, the top dog. You know right. What I'm saying he's like. The guy on top of the pyramid, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you if you take the United States government out of it, he's right. the guy, the spokesman. Right. So then he's just thinking like, which, you know, I went in, you know, I can't wait. And he already had his demons because, you know, he has a uh, girlfriend, wife, whatever right. she is, a right. baby mother. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he don't see the kid because right. in, she's in D.C. and Langley and he's in um, California. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And, you know, because I was like, damn, why he's over in California and she's here? But we found out that he went to he wherever he was overseas or wherever he was, so so someone died under his watch. Right. And then next you know, he went into the director's office with a sword. Yeah, you know yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the they, yeah, so they put him there. That's why he's a coward. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So you know, he wants the action. Like I say he's a guy who missed the action. You can't put him at a desk, he wants the action. So he he plays his, he plays his, he plays that character to a T. Right. Because you see that, hey, I'll do anything to get it. And, and it's his way. You know, he says, I right, Logan was doing this way, well, I'm going to do it. I want to be with all, you oh, know, dear. everybody who's, you know, I'm dealing with. And that, I remember he went to the Israel guy and right. like, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you put a gun in my face, you do this, you do it. Tell me, strip, and now you want my help? Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know what I'm saying? And then he said, like, I don't want to do business with you. And then he realized, you know, this, you want to do business with him because <laughs> he's going to protect you. You're not going to get caught. Right. You know, the government ain't going to tell themselves. So he does a lot, you know. Trying to mix up and run, the, run, run the, um, the organization stuff like that, you know. So he meets with everybody, the Mexicans and right. stuff like that, and he's running it. You know what I'm right. saying? So by running it, he's got he, now he has to look and say, all right, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? To get the heat off of things because now you keep everything clean, keep everything clean. So Alejandro, them, they wanted to, they need the weapons to go mm -hmm. down. Weapons they were down in yeah. South America somewhere, yeah. and. Yo, remember he said he wanted to take all the serial numbers of the weapons. Yeah. Alejandro took it down there regardless. Yeah, he's like, I don't care. So yo flew it down there. Yeah. Yo flew down there and we got to take all these yeah. serial numbers yeah. off. Yeah. So we'll be don't trip back to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because first like, you let a bomb off and they look at the numbers. Right. They're like, well, we just, why are you giving the United States, you know, weapons? And then it, was, then it was crazy when they were down there fighting that war. It was that little boy. Mm. Come to find out the little boy was working for the enemy the whole yeah. time. Yep. And he kept on wondering, like, why they keep on flying over us? Yeah, the little boy yeah. had the radio, you know what I'm saying? Keep on, you know what I'm saying? Right. But that's how the game, the game's dirty right. like that. You know what I'm saying? And Teddy and his daddy, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he, he learns a dirty game because he had to kill a little boy. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the game work, works out there. Right. And then uh, the, the scene that was funny when they went to fly back and they got stuck in Mexico. Right. And then on, on the desert. Right, you know what I'm right. Saying? And, and this is like, you understand, like, hey, sometimes things don't work your way. Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, he's so much into that life that he can't, Stop it. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, he's in it now. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it consumes you. You know what I'm saying? So, Teddy, you know, he, like, he feel like Kingpin. Or he feel like I got to keep this running. Because all he wants to do is be, you know, recognition um, by the government. They're like, right, you're right. doing a great job. So, then he says, hey, look. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, the girl, the girl's sister that they killed, she comes out of nowhere. Right, right. And she's trying to look for stuff. And it's funny because, you know, they, they get, you know, they get in places, you know what I'm saying? He's right. like, I, I'll hang with her. But he understand, he started to feel and like right, her, you right. know what I'm saying? And see that she's he innocent. Want, he don't want to have Yeah, she's her. innocent, you know what I'm saying? She just try, she's really just trying to do something that any normal person would do. Right. So, you know, she's, you know, it's funny because every time they think it's, you know, they're going to be the stale. Maybe, right, it was good. And, and, here comes in something just Oh, she with. was with so and so. Yeah, yeah the it was tight because she found a house. Yep. And he already got got the yeah. people's call. Yeah, like, yeah, a, act like y'all. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, she, <laughs> she got to the fence and the lady's like, nah, you flip. Because you, you ready to jump the fence and all that. Right. Like, nah, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's crazy because, you know, she was on, you know, she had a picture of the, my man, Alejandro. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I put them up. Alejandro was like, look, man, you know, hey, I, I'll take care of you. He's like, nah, nah, I'll right. take it. Take like, nah, nah, I'll take care. You, you leave out of stage for a couple, yeah. for like a month, and I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Hunter, I was, you know, he wasn't trying to hit it. <laughs> right. You know, because he had to meet with the Columbians because right. they didn't connect because the, the, the village got um, raided, unrated. So mm -hmm. that's what he meets, you know what I'm saying? 
he he thinks he's gonna go over there and see um you know see her live. Like who's in there cutting up like a turkey? Like, yeah, like cutting up like a turkey. He's like I did this for you. Cause I'm gonna go. You know I'm I'm gonna make the tough decision you're scared to make. Right. Again, this is the life we lead. Right. And then Teddy, the emotional took over. He came back. He first had the gun. Like no, he came back. And just shot him. And, and he understand like you know Teddy's the type of person. Again, it's his way. Or no, nobody way. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like. We, I can't be this ruthless. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to be this ruthless. Let me handle it. Let me right. do my job. Sometimes you got to, you know, you just can't just be killing people just because you want to kill them. Right. That's irresponsible. You know what I'm saying? So, it will, you know, that's their angle and Teddy's right. angle. You know what I'm saying? Then you have Lucia and Pedro. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Gustavo, their right. angle. Uh, they're uh, Lucia and Pedro's cousins. Right, right. All right. And um, Lucia's father, I didn't know. I forgot. I didn't know he was the, he was the big I, yeah, man. I didn't know he was the head dude. He was the head dude. Yeah. I didn't know until the last episode. I didn't know he was the head dude either. Yeah, so with Pedro's uh, f uh, father, right. you know, he's going to try to take over because, right. you know, he's like, hey, you know, your father's getting old. But the thing right. is, her father didn't leave her in charge because, you know, he was scared that she, she was, was too ambitious. She was destroying the family. Yeah, she, she, her mother told her that. She's ruthless, you know what I'm saying? And she is. Yeah, she definitely is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was crazy that Pedro and uh, Lucia wanted to rob Pedro's father for some money right. to finance their drug organization on the side. Right. You know, and then they got like, Gustavo as a strong man. Right. Because, you know, Gustavo, what they was wrong, Gustavo had to kill one of Pedro's um, right. uncle, um, father's um, men. men. Right. So he's like, man, who robbed me? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was crazy. I think, I think the first robbery, like the first killing was by accident. It was. Like, yeah, he didn't mean to kill him. Then he, then he had to kill somebody else off yeah. yeah. to make it seem like they were the, they the one that did it. Yeah, they, right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Pedro Falls, like, look, someone came in the house and, you know, he had gathered everybody. He's going to find who killed, you know, right. killed this man. You know what I'm saying? So it was weird because, like I said, Lucia and Gustavo. Their relationship was they, they trusted each other. Right. You know, she's like, hey, we, we, we're gonna work together. You know, and that's when she started building up the contact with, with uh, Teddy. You know, what I'm saying, they started getting to work. You know, right. saying now they moving. Right. You know, what I'm saying, and Pedro's jealous. You right. know, what I'm saying, he's like, nah, I don't like this. And then the reason he told because he realized they were sleeping together. Are you acting like y'all sleeping together? You fucked them? No. He's he's like, no. No. And he know they did. He's so <laughs> he's like, I can't trust you. You know, what I'm saying, you're not, you're not gonna tell him, you know. And y'all could be ready to cut me out. So what he said, before you cut me out, I'm going to cut y'all out. <laughs> so he told his father that he was sleeping together, um, you know, she was sleeping together and they were running a side business. Right. You know, her father comes in there and it's funny because she said, you were up in my spot, didn't you? Know, she's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she know that, the thing is, she know that he didn't tell that they robbed him. You know what I'm right. saying? Because, you know, he'll kill everybody. With right, 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 right. But it was crazy because, you know, they sitting there, you know, and then, you know, the uncle's like, look, point blank. Gustavo gotta go, right. and you you gotta basically go too. Right. She didn't think that she, she gonna get kicked out of the cut. Cause remember they worked hard. Lucia and Gustavo got the the, uh, the, other, the, the other dudes, the other dudes that came. They, they, they was gonna sell their work too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, everything was working out perfectly for them. You know what I'm saying? But Pedro, like I said, he didn't like it. Hating. He was <laughs> hating. He was hating. You know what I'm saying? So Lucia, what she do? She you know she she well Gustavo he when he got found he got cut cut out. What do you do? He's like, we're like, yeah, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna run up on them. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna kill everybody. All right, so, because we're gonna start a war. Mm -hmm. Then he lets Lucille know, hey, this is about to go down. She's like, well, I'm getting cut out myself. So I want, you know, instead of killing everybody, let's, you know, because you're about to try to kill my mother and everybody after the right. service, let's kill certain people. Right. And we'll, and I'll take over. And to make sure I'm mad and make right. sure it's all gonna look legit. Right, and that's what it is. And another thing she probably wants to say is this like, hey, look, think about it. If his father died, I'm more powerful than her father. Than his father, you know what I'm saying? Because right. again, my father was a leader. You know what I'm saying? So I could, I could persuade certain people. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So Gustavo came and and he's hey, like, look, I just want to talk to him. Leave. Next, you know, they came, shot the spot. <laughs> and you know, now she now look like she's gonna be top dog. You right, know what right. Saying? So you know, I like the different storylines, like right. where it's going. Franklin, you know, even when they went to Oakland, you know, say man, RZA right. learned how to make the crack. Right, that was crazy. They, yeah. they, that was a crazy episode too, cause they went to Oakland. Yeah. They up there partying. Yep. You know what I'm saying? His two boys, they want to party. Her Franklin, yeah. like chilling. Yeah, business. But it's funny, cause how Franklin just um, he just left. Yeah, walking around. Then he uh, he had, happened to run into the spot where his father was yeah. there with the black pants. Yep. Then he ran to the white girl getting yeah, high, high, like. And she, yeah, and she told him <laughs> who he was, and she took him to where he made it. Right. And then he and took him to the boss. You mean like yo, like yo, me get all that. Yo, tell yeah. me who you, who you get this shit from. Right. You saying, and it was it was crazy. Like I said, Rizzo basically told him how to make crack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
and he took that back to L.A. And it was a rap. It was a rap. So now they got, you know what I'm saying? And he took, that's when he went to his uncle and said, yeah. look, we're going to make money. Not we're going to make a little bit of money. <laughs> we're going to make money. Right. And that's when, you know what I'm saying, they started making the Cutting money. Cutting down, you know what I'm saying? selling nickels. Selling nickels, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the funny thing is, uh, that's what Lenny and Ray Ray was trying to run up on them. You know what right. I'm saying? You know, for payback. Right. But he ran up on Leon because, you know, uh, Frank, like I say, the shoe businessman. Right. And Leon and him had the beef about, you know, Leon wanted, you know, has it paid for his shoes right. and stuff like that. It's like, nah, you know what I'm saying? No. But wind up, Leon wanted to get shot, right. you know what I'm saying? But Leon is still smart enough to realize, like, look, call the police and help me out, but get rid of the drugs. Right, so you hear when that's still doing his neighbor's joint. His, his, his girlfriend, no, his neighbor, aka girl, right. fly, you know what I'm saying? Who's her father's a cop, right. you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. You know, and it's crazy because they, they, they were living by the cold of the street, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, 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 and then, like I said, when they found out like, Lenny ran up on him, they had to go get, get Lenny, you right. know what I'm saying? And they already told Ray Ray, like, look, he's like, look, Ray Ray, you don't want these problems. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can act, act like you want it, but you don't really want and it. Ray Ray didn't really want it anyway. No, Ray Ray's like, Ray Ray told him to let it go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But he couldn't let it go. Yeah, Lenny saying? got raped. Yeah, and, he, and, he, and that's what it was. <laughs> and he said, I can't let you know, <laughs> rape me and think it's all cool. Right. And you know, that, and, 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 and you know, and when it finally, and it's funny because the funniest scene, the funniest scene of my favorite was the uncle and them will meet with the Israel. Right. And, and the uncle, you know, I think he was, didn't understand the craziness. Like me, I would have told my uncle, look, I'm about to meet with this crazy ass <laughs> Israel guy. Please don't embarrass me. He's like right. the embarrassing father, the embarrassing. Right. He went in there thinking he could just like well, shave some money shave off. Shave some money off. Right? Yeah, no, the, the price, the price. Hey, no, now what? It's 12, 13. Yeah, People was, talking to me 14. 000, you know what I'm saying? Now nah, we're paying more for the keys. You know what I'm saying? Man, hit a hell of a homeboy, want to get something to drink. He's like, yeah. I ain't tell you to get nothing. Yeah, because yeah, like he said, you know, they just said, I like him. Right. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't care for none of y'all. Right. I'm here for him. And, and that's when he got mad because he probably said, you should have told your people. I am. Right. You know, I don't care about y'all. You don't care about me. I like you, but now you trying to, you know, think you'll get a better price? Get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Kick them out. Then they laugh. They were like, we we, we going to find a way to get a cheap price. We're going to scope. We're going to get, who we get, get it from. from. We get it from. And that's what they got. They were like, yo, you can't, you can't be none of us. Yeah. We're going to call police on yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they got this got homeboy. homeboy sit there. And I think next season, that's what they're going to try. And we saw Teddy right. coming and up there. I think that's when, you know, it's the money going to start with him when he get. He get to cut that man and get the keys, cause he's remember he's breaking down his. All right. You know right. He's breaking down his his this stuff and making crack. Remember they ain't selling crack. He's the only one selling crack. Right. They're selling coke right. still. You know what I'm saying? And and it really you know that's why, frankly, getting money. You know what I'm right. saying? So sooner or later, once the you know crack you know hit the street and now everybody gonna want it. He gets it from Teddy. Right. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So you know, it we kind of figure out the timeline on it, but like I said, I like the writing on it. Like no, no, it. thing I like about the show is like it be like it be parts of the story that they don't show you. Mm -hmm. So you gotta use your imagination. Imagination, right? Like 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 when they, the last episode came on, Franklin was sleeping at his buddy house, but yeah. they didn't show how, what happened. But him and his mother had an argument to make right. him sleep there. Right. Yeah. Right. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> imagine like yeah. when she's like she lost a job. Right. And he like yo, you know. I got some money. I don't want you to reef for money. Right. And what did he do? He left it there right. and walked out. Now, again, she could throw it in the trash. You know, what you think she did with that she money? She kept the money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? See, I thought in the episode when she was like, like they, had a, they had a scene with her and that, I thought they probably going to show up picking the money back yeah. up. But they, they, they let us use our you know, imagination. Like, you make that decision. How it happened. Yeah, like, let's say you tell your kid, they know they selling drugs, you just lost your job and bills got to get paid. And they left ten thousand hmm. dollars on your table, or and you. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, again, anybody can say they don't want it until it's right there in their face, right. and you walk out the door. Right. Are you really gonna throw that money away? You're not gonna. You're not gonna give it away. Right. You're gonna. You, you're gonna pay them bills. You know what I'm saying? I pay bills. Or like you say, you don't have to work for nobody. You know right. what I'm saying? You can just enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Even as you know, you, you know the badness of selling drugs, but. Hey, Franklin got the money, might as well do what he got to right, do. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? So, like I said, Snowfall, great, great acting, great writing. John Singh's definitely great, you know. Right, right. Definitely good moments on it. You know, I'm glad he got his rape scene out of him. Cause, you know, <laughs> you know, you know everybody right. know he wanted to throw that in the Tupac movie. Right, right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? But, um, like I said, definitely I like. Uh, it's a good, it's a good show. Good show, definitely. Too many people sleeping on it. Too many. You know, so you know, say I got a feel it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of them shows that. 
it's gonna catch on a little later. Right. Cause like power didn't get the the following right. like it died and it got in the first season. Right. It, it took a while. It took a couple seasons, mm -hmm. and then everybody wound up getting stars right. and we start watching it. Think about this. This is FX, so it's on regular cable. Right. And so, so, you, so you only got to pay a premium yeah, price to watch the show. You, ain't, you know what I'm saying? And then next year we'll be watching. We'll be doing episodes, you know, recaps of every, each episode. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, hey, look. I like it. You like it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I can't so, wait for next season. Can't wait. So, you know, y'all need to go out and support this. Uh, it's a great, good show. You know, I'm definitely putting my stamp of approval on that one right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? We out. You know what I'm saying?